and um, Subulela and Ati want to grab South Africa by the horns and go big with it. Okay, I got Subulele. 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 Yeah, Subulele. Yeah. Like ukulele, <laughs> but Subulele. Okay, I got it. Okay. No, so no. <laughs> okay, and how do you pronounce your cousin's name? Ati. 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 Okay. And vin, uh, venom. Is that close enough, venom? No. <laughs> no. no. He said no. I, I am. I am venom. But yeah. <laughs> if I sting you, yeah, I got you. you you're a superhero. <laughs> yeah. How do, you, how do you pronounce your name? What? Venom. Venom. Yes, well yes. Well done, Maria. Well done. Okay, <laughs> cool. So it's like your, it's like the W is a V. Now this is gonna sound crazy, but here's how I'm gonna remember Venna. It's like Venna White, you know, from the show. Get it? I yes. think it's Venna. That see, I have to lock stuff in like that, otherwise, you know, I'm, I'm in trouble. But great meeting you guys. Uh, uh, Venna, we've seen Venna multiple times. Glad to see you again, and and you guys say great to meet you guys. South Africa by the Indian Ocean. I know that's so cool. When I, I know it guys, is. It awesome. is cool, guys. They, Subulela and, and Ati, really want to find out more about the business model from the two of you, if you don't mind, and not not this, you know, from from what has it done for you guys as a family? What have you seen it do for other people? You know, the Frenchies at the moment, we're seeing lots of stuff from the Frenchies. How has it impacted some of those Frenchies' lives? You know, I'm speaking to one or two of the Frenchies at the moment, and I've seen they built a team of 600 people. I mean, how quickly have they done this? Because this is what Sibulela and, and Ati are interested in is if they really put in the work and the effort, how quickly can a team grow? How quickly can they make money? Well, almost uh, instantly. I mean, anything that worth building definitely takes time to uh, build, but it just depends on, you know, the quickness of you out of the gate. You know, there's a saying that uh, I think uh, Lawrence knows as well, success loves speed. And getting that, getting the speed off the ground, creating that momentum uh, from from almost day one makes a huge difference. It, it, it's like an airplane, you know, taking off, you know, 100,000 pounds, whatever, you know, its whole goal and objective is to, is to get that engine revved up and get, the, they burn more gas taking off and getting up to 30,000 feet than, than almost anything because they got to get momentum uh, going, but what happens once they get to 30,000 feet, then they can throttle back and cruise. So uh, one of the keys is getting off to a very fast start is creating that energy, letting people know, here's what I'm doing. I'm not playing. We're putting a game plan together. Uh, the French team, they, they had it tough uh, because when, when Danny started, one of our guys, frontline guys, Danny, uh, he speaks French, but he lives in Ca uh, Canada. And when he started talking to the French market, we had nothing uh, in, in French. There was absolutely nothing. So he had to learn how to do customer service. He had to learn how to do anything because Dave wasn't going to do anything PowerPoints, until yeah. PowerPoints, trainings, until they got to a certain number. And because, and the reason I say that Dave's a really nice guy, wonderful guy, but you know, so many people come in and talk, talk, talk. And they, um, he wanted to make sure they were serious and they went on and really got going. Danny was putting hour after hour after hour into the business every day, meeting people, plugging them in, looking for the leaders. You either de uh, develop leaders or, or you find leaders. That's the only way you can uh, find them or, or develop them or have a leader. And uh, he developed some, but he also found some that saw this could be huge uh, in the French market because there was nobody in France uh, doing any of this stuff. And a few of the leaders got on board and they just went crazy. And, and they've had their ups and downs. But I mean, we've got, uh, I don't know how many ambassadors over there now, uh, ton, the tons of uh, two stars over there. Uh, and from there, it's fun to Australia and other parts of the world uh, where people that have never made any money in direct sales and network marketing or got pumped up and excited about the travel side of the business and it's changing their lives. I don't know if you got a chance to see Todd did an interview with Danny and uh, an ambassador from um, Australia who spawned from the French team. And uh, the lady was not making very much money at a regular job. Uh, in a short period of time, she was able to walk away from that job 
uh, to do this on a full-time basis. So what I would need to know and Lawrence needs to know is that number one, you can build this. You can go as fast as you, as you want or as slow as you want, but what are your goals? What do you want uh, out of the business and, and how much time are you willing to put in there? Uh, those would be two questions I'd ask you. How quickly do you need to move? Or are you looking for an extra four to 500 bucks a month uh, getting to one star? Are you looking for the extra 1500 to 2000 uh, a month at, um, at two star or, you know, ambassador, you know, once we kind of understand that and you say, hey, this is what I'm willing to do, we'll say yay or, or nay, it's not going to happen. It will happen, but it's not going to happen as fast as you probably want. So what do you guys want out of the business and um, what are you willing to do to get it? Uh, that's, um, should I answer that, Lawrence? Go for it, Dati. Go for it, buddy. Um, yeah, nice to meet you guys, Daryl. Um, I've been on a few calls where you were, Lawrence invited you. Nice to meet you too, uh, Maria. Um, basically, to answer your question, uh, we obviously see the opportunity. And um, having previously traveled um, as youngsters, we were now going overseas to the UK with a development team um, with a bunch of um, us African kids from the township. You know, it, it basically opens your eyes up as to the possibilities of the world, okay? And um, last year, I was fortunate to go to Germany for a, a conference on also social uh, development issues. So that also opened my eyes up and I was like, it's not, it's not gonna take 10 years for me to, to leave this country again. Um, because, I mean, you can be at eight o'clock and you can be in Europe by 5 p.m., you know, having a beer with Lawrence. Um, that, that's the possibilities that there are there. But um, in South Africa, the driving force for me is that the fact that the market is untapped, but more than the market, the mind of the, of the, of the people um, in South Africa that's also untapped. They're not, they're not aware of um, any sort of opportunities like these. Um, and like I said, we were fortunate to go when we were younger, but 99% or 90% of, of kids and middle-class families, teachers, nurses, 90% um, of them, they never leave the country. You know, they, they have the feeling of they want to work until they retire. And then even then, they don't even have enough money then to take their family overseas. Um, so for me, it would, it would be not just a money project, but also a, a passion um, project in terms of you know, seeing more people like myself um, going out there and experiencing what the world has to offer, you know. So that's, that's my why. That's one of the big whys that actually attracted me to, to the company. And if I can get as many people as I can, you know, um, sitting on white sand beaches that they probably wouldn't have dreamt of um, and didn't think was possible, and here's an opportunity where they can do that and make money on the side. Um, it's, it was just a, it was a no brainer. And it's not like I had to look on Instagram, you know, I want to travel the world now. It actually felt like something that I attracted by Lawrence, um, knowing him through rugby. Um, it felt right in the sense that, you know, okay, maybe I can do this now. I don't have to have a professional rugby contract to, to experience the world. I don't have to work 20 years order to take my mother on a, on a, on a trip to, to Thailand, you know? So um, the money, the money, obviously it's on the back of the mind. I mean, we'd want to get the Mercedes Benz. We'd want to, we'd want to be leaders, but I think the chance to be a leader and the chance to impact and influence um, a community is, is the biggest pull for me as to why I'm, I'd be partaking and doing this. And what would your short term income goals be, Ati? What, what, would, well, what, what, do you, what would you like to be seeing yourself earn in the next four to six months per month? I'd like to get to that uh, two-star director. I think um, that's, that's the $2,000 a month around there, right, Lawrence? Yeah, Zimbabwe. Yeah. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Yeah, no, we don't <laughs> pay US dollars. We only pay Zimbabwe dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, I what you said because... And... Yeah. and um, Go ahead. And um, uh, hi, Daryl Maria. And just to reiterate what uh, Ati was saying, um, 
like for me, the reason why I, why, why I see the, the potential in this and the vision is um, I've just lost my mom recently and she was working as a teacher for, for close to 40 years. And um, she was speaking about travel, traveling the whole time. That, um, and she's never been out of the country. But, but she's been, she was speaking the whole time that she would want to, she wants to travel once she retires. And um, she, she died without doing that. And for me, having uh-huh. entered the corporate space now, and, and it, 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 it feels like if I stay within the corporate space, yeah. I might be facing a similar fate. And for me, that's just something that I cannot bear to stand. So, so definitely I see the vision and I see where, how it can grow because a lot of people want to travel, but they just don't know, they just don't have the means and we can give them those means. Okay, can I just say one thing before Daryl and Maria jump in? Subulela, hold that passion, buddy. Hold that emotion. Keep it as your story, and 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 because I can see it's real, and and that will that will be so strong for you. That will be so strong for you. Okay, well done there, bud. Wow. Um. Yeah. But both of those are, are just amazing. Uh, sorry to hear hear about your mom, and um, that that is part and parcel to you know ninety five percent of people in the world. You know. We're told to grow up, uh, go to school, get good grades, and you know, go work for a company. And hey, I can't wait because I'm gonna travel. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. And those plans just keep getting pushed off and pushed off. And um, most people, you know, when they do retire, they pass away within five to ten years. Uh, and that that's just a statistic. When I first saw this industry, I, I was initially didn't understand it. It was the first thing. I mean, I'd gone through school, just graduated, and uh, I was getting ready to leave because they were drawing these circles on the board back in the day that obviously didn't have these computers. And uh, the a guy stood up right before I was ready to just politely leave the room. And he said, in the United States of America, the richest country on earth at age 65, 95% of people are dead or dead broke. And these are people that have worked their jobs for the 40 years and now they got to retire on a quarter of what they couldn't live on when they were actually working. And that's for whatever reason, it's just been ingrained in everybody's mind. That's what you do. That's what you do. That's what you do. Put your head down and work. And, and at that moment, I made a decision because I looked at my parents. I looked at the people that were at church and, and, and I saw that statistic for myself up close and personal. And I made a choice right then that if tradition is that is the tradition, uh, I don't want anything a part of it. And that's when I started to become a student of this industry and, and with people that were successful and uh, bugging the hell out of them, asking a million questions and, and moving forward. And uh, six months later from that time, I mean, that's been 31 plus years now. Uh, I've never worked a, a job from that one job that I had right out of college. I haven't worked a job in my life. Um, being able to be home every day and travel. We spend a lot of time with, with our grandkids now. Uh, that just turned six and just turned uh, 10 uh, within the last couple of weeks because uh, their mom and dad have traditional jobs and, and uh, they're not going to school. So we go back and forth a lot uh, working with them to because they can't get online and do the things they need to do. And we're fortunate to be able to do that. And we love doing it. We don't mind doing it. And uh, this year, I think we've been eight or nine different uh, resorts, and that's not including the mini hotel, one night, two nights, uh, three night scenario hotels that we've stayed. That's just this year. Um, and uh, we can't wait. As soon as Hawaii is open, we're clicking the button. I mean, that's uh, Maria's from Hawaii. We love Waikiki, uh, uh, the, the, the island out there, Oahu, and uh, we're heading over there. We, we've been deprived. We haven't been able to go I there know. for... Darn that 14-day quarantine thing. <laughs> since I think January or February we were there. And um, yeah. Yeah, we like to go there three or four times. Yeah, it, um, and me too. I mean, I've been a student of this industry for the past 20-something years. And um, I was 
thankfully introduced to this industry by my mother, um, who's not with us any longer, but she just introduced me to network marketing and I became a student of the industry as soon as I saw my first residual income check. And that's very important is the residual income. And that's what you want to do. Your ultimate goal is so that your residual income, I mean, if people, the saying goes, if people knew what it felt like to be financially independent, they would do whatever it takes to get there. That's so true. You'd be in a hurry. <laughs> You'd be in a hurry to get there. Absolutely. Um, and as we said, whatever it takes. Yeah, either, cool either, either, way, yeah. either way. So, either so way. it's really neat that um, back in the day, becoming a student of this industry, understanding, um, not totally understanding. I think when you once you get the checks and you're like, oh, okay, now I signed a Bob, I signed a Mary, now I know where that money came from. But it's more of just kind of just going all out massive action yeah. and just doing whatever it takes. Just we didn't, blinders. yeah, we didn't really have like a large group come over and then, you know, oh, we're all of a sudden ambassador. That's not how it happened. It just was like, we were just rocking and rolling on the phones, talking to people, texting people, emailing people, and just letting them know the good news about this company and whatever, um, and, and what it took. And, and it doesn't hurt that travel is the product. And, yeah. you know, you just, this, we have such an awesome product, um, being able to take advantage of the Dreamcation platform, which includes the getaways and the world tours, as well as the wholesale uh, portal that we have in there, the net net portal, as Lawrence likes to refer to it, the net net portal is so spectacular. Um, people want to do staycations, they can take advantage of people want to do, you know, week long trips in there, they can take advantage of the hotels, the entertainment discounts, the shopping and dining, so much fun. In addition to the ability to be able to spread the word and tell people, hey, you know that you could go on these vacations and do all the fun stuff and all that. So definitely becoming a student um, the, one of the first things that I did was become a student of the industry, um, love network marketing. I love everything that it's about. If anyone ever says anything negative, I always have, you know, my comebacks and whatever that I can say about the, in the industry. It's so great. I love being a student of the net, uh, home-based business industry. That's so important too. And then of course, travel industry, the largest in the world. You can't go wrong with that. Nope. Pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah. Very true. Now, Daryl and Maria, if we were to extend an invitation to the two of you to put on your car keys, to get some hats on, and to go out on an African experience, if, if the numbers of prospects were right in South Africa, let's say we were hypothetically talking March next year, and we organized a 10-day trip for you guys to come out and speak to literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of prospects all across South Africa, hand in hand with Subulela and Ati and Vanna and everyone else. Is that something that we could work towards? Is that something that we could do? There's a, the possibility is there. Here's the only challenge. And obviously, if you guys start putting those numbers together, we'd have to do it. You know, we're, we're a baseball family. My uh, son was drafted uh, by Boston. He decided to go to Cal Boston Berkeley. Uh, he had an injury, uh, a uh, what do you call it, Tommy John surgery. So we, the last game we saw him play in was August of last year, 2019. And we have not seen him play. The, this uh, February, March is where he will be playing again. And that's when, when I read that on your thing, I said, oh, no, we, we have to figure something out. No then we'll have to make it April. Yeah. Then we'll just say all the way to make it summer. April and May. So we're going to have to figure that out. We that, figure out that, whatever yet yeah, we needed to do. That. Yeah, that, that, that's in, in principle. The, in principle, if we can get the dates right, it's something that you guys would be willing to consider. Oh, a, a, absolutely, one hundred and ten percent. And um, you know, especially you got guys like this and uh, that want to you know, step up to the plate and really make some things happen. And, and guys, what we'll definitely let, um, Lawrence, of course, knows, I mean, there's potholes you're going to run into. Yeah. There's people that, uh, like, right, right before we sponsored Danny into the business, and Danny was just a regular average guy. He's been in this industry 10 years, has not made a dime uh, in this industry. And there were several people we recruit. I mean, we, we probably brought in 150, 175 people personally over the, over the time. And uh, there were several people that could have gone right above him, but for whatever reason, they said no or whatever the case may be. 
I mean, had they been underneath his organization, you know, it would be done in that leg. They would only have to work on, on one leg. So, you know, my, my uh, recommendation is that you guys decide to do this. Uh, you're wiser or, or perfect. Uh, you just need to make a decision and then go after it. You're going to run into what I call bozos that don't see it, don't understand this industry, thinks it's a rinky-dink, Mickey Mouse, uh, illegal business, that type of stuff. And if you run into enough of them, sometimes it affects you and you can't. You need to understand this is a hundred $80 billion a year industry. industry. There's doctors, attorneys, every walk of life you can think of. There's over 10,000 direct sales uh, companies, network marketing companies uh, around the world. There are, are, are Fortune 500 companies that are using it as part of their, their marketing strategy, you know, friends telling friends, et cetera. And uh, if you understand those things, and, and Lawrence, of course, myself, Todd, Maria, We'll definitely continue to help educate you uh, on that. But when you look at this, this is just, it's game over when you look at this. Imagine just fine. If, if you're platinum, it's 125 bucks a month. But if you found three people that want to travel like they never have traveled before, and most of the people that we sign up have never traveled like this before to stay in uh, studios, one, two, three bedroom resorts for eight days and 79, uh, for eight days and seven nights for 59 bucks. Out the door could be like a hundred with tax and, and uh, resort fees, et cetera. But for eight days, people have not done, that's the worst thing that will happen to you every year as a platinum, you get two to three of these vacations because we're both platinum. You know, we get four to six of these vacations every year. Plus our kids are platinum. So we got those points as well. <laughs> so, um, but the average person just gets one spot. You've got two to three of these vacations. And if you don't want to pay the monthly, find three people, people that want to travel just like that and stay at these beautiful places. Uh, and then you're making as much money as you're spending. So I haven't been able to really say the worst case scenario uh, with our company is what I just explained to you. And on top of that, you have an opportunity to make money. That's it. And how important guys is it for to get in early. How important, if because we, we know that South Africa is going to go big. We know the UK is going to go big. How important is it to get, get in and take that first mover advantage? Well, well I think time, timing is everything uh, in, in business. You know, some people, you get an argument, they'll say leadership. But, but no, if you're in the right place at the right time, uh, and then you happen to have some leadership or develop leaders, then that, that's the best scenario. But uh, being out there by yourself, you, you'll, you'll run into a few you know, bozos, you know, because, oh, what are you trying to pull together, et cetera. But you'll go from two to view to four of you to eight of you to 16, and you build that nucleus. I'm telling you, everything in South Africa and potentially the UK could be falling underneath your organization. Somebody is going to do it. Why not you? Right. That's it. Auntie Subalela, do you have any questions for Daryl Maria? Um, uh, do you have Subu? You can go first. No, you, know, you can go, Ati. Okay, so I was going to ask um, with regards to South Africa, um, or Southern Africa, say, how, how many numbers would we possibly need for? for the company to, to maybe open up a few dreamcations on this side of the world? Um, or is there, is there in Southern Africa? I don't know, Lawrence. Last Lawrence time I checked. Lawrence may know that, that answer. I, I don't know what, what that is, but, but I know Marie wanted to answer something on that. No, no, I was just going to say that it is all over the world, but I haven't checked to see if it was something. No, Africa. we haven't seen any dreamcations. And when I spoke to David, David say, said, once we get a little bit of traction in the country, he'll look into it. So I, I would say once we go past north of 20, we can actually ask the CEO, David, we can ask him that very question. Absolutely. And, and I've seen that happen, just like the Tenerife, um, you know, position was put together because uh, the French people and a couple of islands with, you know, because France is not far from Spain. Uh, and that's one of the places they wanted to go. So that's one of the reasons why they opened it up. And there's no question about it. You guys be, become the leaders over there. 
develop the business, get the people going. Um, there's nothing he won't do for you once you, you know, you kind of get that going. Uh, in the interim, what we could do, uh, I know Lawrence is probably doing webinars and he probably does them a little different, different than us, but Marie and I and Todd and Lawrence, uh, uh, you guys say, hey, we've got some people. Can you guys come on and at least say hi, do a testimonial, or do a presentation? If you guys are ready to rock and roll, dude, let's start scheduling presentations. I know they'll be early for us. And and uh, right now, the, I just got back because of uh, Aaron does the, the – she's on a special training program, and, and we've got to do that, and it's a, it's a few miles away and all that, so it takes a little bit of time. But – other than that, we'll figure out between Lawrence, Todd, and myself, um, we'll figure out some schedules. We just got to share the story, let people know about the story. And some are going to see it and some are not. You're going to look up and you got five people. And you look up again, you got 500 people. But somebody's got to start it. And the key thing, write this down, is you've got to be consistent. You know, some people work hard today and a few days, and then next week they don't do anything. And it's like that pump going up and down. Just be consistent every day, a little bit every day. Um, that consistency over time builds momentum. That momentum builds that residual income. But somebody's going to do it. Uh, you guys very obviously very sharp and passionate uh, uh, with your whys and, and ability. I, I can just see that and feel that over the uh, Zoom here. There's no question about it. You could lead that part of the world uh, in addition to, I know there's other people over there as well. So between you and the two or three other people there, maybe a little bit more, uh, you guys could set the standard and, and blossom and control the country. Um, uh, just the question that I had, uh, Daryl, is perhaps both to you, Daryl and Maria, is uh, for, for how long have you been in the business and um, how big are your teams and for and how long did it take you to, to, to reach that level where like your team has grown substantially, like where you started gaining that momentum, where your team's just growing by itself, okay, not by itself, but where it's just growing and it's growing and it's growing exponentially. Oh, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll just look at what Lauren has done. Uh, Lawrence has done. I mean, we haven't had anything to do with that. And, and his group is growing and, and it's, it's just kind of working on, on its own. Um, when we first started, uh, obviously, this is something we do full time with, with our, our uh, contact base and people we know. And, you know, we didn't shift teams over and stuff. I just, you know, we just don't do that. If a person sees and they want to come, that's fine. In two weeks, we went two-star. Uh, and again, we just charted it out. At that time, just to show you the evolution of this company, you had to have three legs. Uh, there was 13, 13, and 13. And, and we just, you know, put a little board together and, you know, one through 13 or 13 through one and 13 through one and 13 through one. And then we just start checking it off, you know, every day. Boy, we were just, we were on it. We had a goal, an uh, obsession, and, and we just stuck to it. So it, it took us two weeks to get to that point. And then what we started doing is developing leaders and helping them duplicate the same thing. Uh, in other words, like for you, what, what I would do at this time is the first objective is to get three to four people enrolled. Because if, if your goal is to do that and help everybody do that, that's going to mean that they're not paying for their monthly subscription. They're getting all these benefits, the net net, the, the trip and everything uh, for basically zero. So the first goal would be is, you know, um, Ate, let's, let's get your four. And, and Ate, let, let, and let, let's do that as quickly as possible, whether it's 24 hours, whether it's a month or two. I think you said three months. That's way too long. <laughs> now, again, it, it's, it's totally up to the individual. There, there's no time to get it done. But, you know, I, you, I think we talked to 15 to 25 people, and, and you got to get three to four. And you can talk to 15 to 25 people in, in a few hours or send them a text or within a couple of days. Uh, the goal should be, and again, I don't know what the credibility is or what the contact base is, but – Bottom line is that's the first goal. If you went to school and I'm the professor uh, in the syllabus, that's going to be the first goal. We got we to talk to enough people, whether it's 
four people or 10 people or 20 people to get that three out of the way, which means you're done. And then all I'm going to do is take those three. You and I are going to do the exact same thing with them. And some people aren't going to do it. Some people are going to be snails and, and that's fine. We don't push people. We don't force them. I just want to find out what are your goals? What do you want to achieve? I'll steer them a little bit and let them know that if they're thinking eight to 10, 15 months down the road, that's fine, but you don't have to do that. You could do it in this time. And here's all we need to do is increase the numbers of people we talk to and, and get those numbers moving fast. So now we've got those three people that, that got you a situation where you're free. I want to find out what do they want out of the business? Are they here just to travel? Are they here to make money or whatever? I want to help them develop that reason because the thing I've learned and Marie and I have learned is that if you don't have reasons uh, like the one you, you, uh, you described, uh, it, you won't be in the business because it's a couple hundred bucks to get started and a hundred bucks a month, you know, uh, in, you run into a challenge or roadblock and it's easy to get in. It's easy to get out. That's why people that spend them $2 million in a McDonald's franchise, they still have family issues. They still have family challenges. Emergencies do come up, but the difference is they're spent $2 million. They're spending 30 grand a month. And if the challenges come up, they're going to handle that, but they still going to have the handle the business. And in our industry and network marketing, I see it, you know, I stubbed my toe or this happened or that happened. And you don't see the person for two or three weeks because it's only spent a hundred and a couple hundred bucks to get started. And that's one of the things that I teach people. I tell them it, I guarantee your success. If you pretend you spent $1 million is what it costs for you to sign up in our company. If you treat it like that, I will guarantee your success. If you treat it like a 240 bucks or whatever uh, it costs and, and you're, you're the money over there, you might as well not sign up unless you're just going to take advantage of the vacation. It, it really is that simple. And we, we've been here uh, just right at three years. How big is your team now, please, Daryl? About 7,000. Yeah, it's it's in that neighborhood. Uh, when you had mentioned that, asked me that question the other time, you know, I I don't even look at it. I don't focus on that. But it, it's in that neighborhood, sixty seven hundred to seven thousand, and and, and do, uh, hopefully, do you, guys, do you guys agree? Because I've obviously built a big team as well. Is it when you first get started, you get a little bit of traction, you run up to twenty twenty five. It might go quiet for a while. Then suddenly there's an explosion. You wake up one day and six or seven people have suddenly signed up. You don't even know them. And, and then you help those people. They come onto a Zoom call. Within a month, you're suddenly breaking the 100. And then, yeah. and, then, and then before you know it, you're sitting at 175. And then on one crazy day, 50 people sign up. Yeah. It's just like crazy. 50 yeah. people signed up today. You don't know any of them. Guys, you yeah. don't know any of them. You will never know all these people. And as long as you find your tier of 10 leaders and you work those 10 leaders and keep giving those people, as Maria said, and as Daryl both said, keep giving them quality information, become a student of, of, of network marketing. Make sure you do do some learning. Make sure you, you watch some Eric Worre videos, Ed Falcone or whoever, whoever floats your boat. Mm. Well, well, absolutely. The advice. Well, absolutely. This is successes like this in, in this industry. You get three people in and one quits or what, something happened. And, and it's like this is never straight up. And the other thing Lawrence probably agree is a lot of the people that you personally enroll, they won't be the ones that you know, take you to the promised land or help you get there. But they know someone that knows someone that knows someone that knows someone five levels deep. That will be the person that you connect with and grow the business. That's why you want to get to know who your team is, who their people are, et cetera, because some of those people, two, three, four, five, ten levels deep, are the are the ones that are going to, you know, build and grow the business. So understand that. It may not be Bob that you sign up or Mary. It could be, but uh, most times I've seen it. It's work with him to get to the next one, work with that person to get to the next one until it's like digging for gold or digging for diamonds. 
um, since we say Africa, you dig for diamonds. They're not a lot. Well, maybe diamonds are sitting out on the on the on the top. But most times, you got to dig a little bit to get down in there. And I look at every person as a gold mine. And uh, you, the gold typically doesn't just sit there on the top. You got to go to work, and you got to mine for. You got to dig, and then wow. You know, here comes the Lawrence uh, out here, you know, just duck and get out of his way. And, and that, I, guys, I see that happening a lot, especially if you're in communication leadership, especially if you, if you, you know, people say your why has to make you cry. That's fine. But I think the why has to make you get up out of the bed in the morning, go to work, and then go go back to sleep. And, and all you're thinking about is getting to where you want to get. And, um you know, when you, when you, um, Subalele, it's like your story will impact so many people out there. That's the story you should be telling every day about your mom and how she was going to, how she was going to, how she was going to, and she never got that chance. People are going to relate to that because it happens to every family. Uh, 98% of the families out there, that's got to be incorporated into your story. Here's why I got involved with this company and tell your story. Then you say, I met this amazing guy and his wife, Daryl, and these are the coolest people in the no, just kidding. <laughs> but your mom's story is the winner. That's the story that could help you change lives. Um, because people will relate to that. Any other questions, yeah. guys? Call or something. I've yeah. got a question. Um, does the power couple ever fight over business? And one more time. Does the the power couple ever uh -huh. fight over business? <laughs> no, we're, we're we're a team from that. We fight over other stuff, but not, <laughs> not <laughs> over business. Daryl, we know who wins that fight as well. So don't even stretch your muscles. <laughs> well, well, and two, Maria, she she can recruit and she can talk to people and do that. But from a technical standpoint, I mean, I can barely get the Zoom US and how do I do this? And you know, she's really technically savvy, computer yeah. and. And, and all of that stuff, and, and, and I'm not more, I'm more of a mouthpiece, but she can do all of those things. So we, we kind of have our lanes, but they cross from a recruiting standpoint, and it, everything is a business decision. You know, when, when, uh, when sh we find a person, where is it, you know, it's just from a business perspective, and, and that's worked for us, you know. Uh, we're, we're the type of uh, couple that, you know, I, I see it and I don't understand it. I'm sure there's a reason for it. You know, a husband and wife have their own checking accounts and different monies is my money and that. And I just have never been like that. It's, you know, it's either all or, or not, you know, that's just me. And I know other people see it another way, but um, that's why I think from a business perspective, it works. And yeah, um, and we recognize each other's strengths and weaknesses and things like that. And we play off of it and do what we need to do to make our business even that more successful. I just find out I seem to have a lot of weaknesses. Mm -hmm. True. She lets me know. True, though, but you know. <laughs> now, in all fairness, it's strange to say that my wife and I, we've been married 32, 33 years, and we've always had one bank account. Yeah, I, that's, that's what I thought you'd do. Old school, mm -hmm. aren't we? we just old school. Yeah. yeah, that's me too. But I mean, I see couples all the time. Even yeah, Werner. Werner said, "Nope, got my own money, and it's my money." <laughs> Daryl Maria, I'm going to thank you very much. I've got to jump onto another Zoom call. I really thank you for for making the time this morning for us, and 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 really appreciate you guys always jumping on on the calls and making time. And Sibulela and Ati, Sibulela, I know you haven't signed up yet. I think you're going to be signing up very soon, but you know, Daryl and Maria, great, a great couple. They're exceptionally successful in this business and they will always make time for us. And I'm very sure very soon you're going to be walking them through a wildlife park, a safari park in South Africa, showing yeah. them the lions and, and all those sort of things. And it's going to happen very soon. No, I, that, I'm looking forward to that because, again, that's something, you know, most people don't get a chance to do. And not only will we get a chance to do it, we'll be able to do it with some friends or, 
connect with friends that are over there doing that. So Subalele, get get started. Make a decision right now, you know, uh, and, and, and start putting it together. It's like any other business out there. I'll leave you with this. Treat it, like I said, like you spend a million bucks. If you do, you're going to do the things you need to do become successful. And when things aren't working correctly, that means you're just going to stay up a little later, go to bed, uh, uh, get up a little bit earlier and, and get your questions answered and keep working through it. But you're going to get five or 10 and then it'll blossom and mushroom. If you guys ever need to get in touch with us, you can get us uh, on Facebook or, or WhatsApp. We're here to help uh, uh, Lawrence and, and you guys. So we're here. You can contact us and if you need us to talk to guests or you want to do a Zoom or we just say hi to some people on your your behalf, but please, you know, you guys let us do it. Thank We're you willing guys. to do that. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate everyone's Bye. time. Darren, Maria, thank you again. Guys, Bye. 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 get on to another Zoom. Goodbye, guys. Awesome. Enjoy the day, guys. guys. Bye for now. Bye.